it's the little things that make a huge difference. So you're building out a funnel and uh, have you ever done this where you purchase it yourself just to test everything, then you have to refund your money? Well, most uh, all-in-one like funnel builders have a way of turning things on to test. And if you're using Go High Level, Funnel Gorgeous, any of those white label programs out there, follow along. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to test your funnel and the automations and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna share my screen here and I am going to hop into uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a live funnel. And uh, so within uh, go high level over to the left, you just go to your sites and you come into your funnel. And all you need to do is come up here to the top where it says settings and you scroll down and we just, the payment mode, uh, it's on test. When you click the little button, now it's live where it's blue. So you always know if it's active or not. The, the mistake I've made is uh, I've forgotten to put it back into live mode, but right now it is in test mode. So I'm going to save it. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to run through the whole process to make sure that everything is working, okay? Um, and I'm just gonna hop over to the order form page because that's uh, that's what I'm testing. And so inside the funnel, you can just over here to the top right, kind of in the middle to view the page. And then at this point, we can just go through and uh, fill everything out. So I'm just gonna put some uh, test information here. And whenever I'm testing for my clients, I always uh, try to put uh, uh, test information here. Okay. And then, um, then it takes us to the actual checkout page. And notice here, it's showing us that it is in test mode. Now, here's the secret. If you've never uh, done this before, all you need to do is enter in 4242 all the way across. Okay. So one, two, three, four blocks of 4242. And then just put some expiration date as long as it's in the future. And then make up your uh, little security code. And then put in your zip code, complete order. And then um, in this particular funnel, it's taking us to our um, like our second page. And this is actually a one time offer. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. And um, <clears throat> so here, because I'm testing, it says payment ID is missing. So there uh, may be just something on my end since it's uh, testing. OK, so now let me come back to the funnel. And if I come to contacts, then right here we can see that somebody has purchased. It's showing that um, we purchased um, the the tiny offer there. That's what she's calling it. And then um, it's sending out uh, the default information. And then on the back end, it's uh, it has um, information so that uh, the person gets tagged, all of that kind of stuff. Okay. So there are the tags and then there's everything there. So that looks like everything is working. So now let me just come back here. And uh, so all you need to do is remember to turn off the test mode. So then that, that saves your Stripe account from having to charge, go back and forth, all of that kind of stuff. So I hope that helped. Uh, let me know if you have questions and I'll see you in the next video.